Welcome back to the Nuzlocke. We are in Resort Gorgeous on Five Island. We have picked up a nest ball from this little beach here, which is really needed given the state of our Pokeballs last episode. We burned like 12 Ultra Balls. Um, I also went and picked up six Ultra Balls from our final Pokemon on Seven Island. Uh, so this gives us eight Pokeballs to play with. Let's get some trainer battles done here, finish up Five Island today, and maybe see if we go to six. A painter. I feel like that's a new trainer type. I bet you some of these are like sprites and trainer types recycled from uh, like Emerald or something. Or actually, maybe this came out before Emerald. I don't really know the timeline. Ruby Sapphire would be the the source of any recycled sprites. Then that's a dead Smurgle. We still got that Togepi egg to hatch, so there could be something cool in there. Watch that hatch until, like, I'm gonna watch that Togepi egg either hatch into a fucking Tyrogue or a Beldum. It's got, it's gotta be something ironic like that, right? To, like, invalidate all the effort we put into catching other shit or failing to catch other shit. Uh, that's an easy kill. Death. So there is somebody we rescue from the cave. And then when we rescue her from the cave, we can show her Pokemon. And if we show her the one she wants, she gives us a random item. And amongst the random items, there is a luxury ball. But it's one reward out of seven. And I'm pretty sure the luxury ball is like a Pokeball in terms of catch rate. It just boosts friendship or something. So it is potentially a repeatable source of Pokeballs, but of mediocre quality Pokeballs. Ooh, also this Nest Ball we picked up might actually be better than an Ultra Ball for the Ametang if we can get a low level one. I don't know what the turnover point is for Nest Ball versus Ultra Ball, but I know it's it's somewhere 20-ish. So 24, Nest Ball might actually be better still. Might try and save the nest ball for that reason, as long as possible. Oh, uh, looks like we got a bunch of trainers here. Okay, let's go fight you, kid. Also, nope. There are hidden items on the beach somewhere, so I'll probably find those. I'll probably do a pause at some point and find those. Maybe after we feed all the trainers on the island. That would make sense. Pause, do items, run over to Lost Cave. That makes sense, I think. Fly is gonna kill, I assume. So, next island coming up is Six Island. looks like it's five encounters potentially we're definitely gonna run out of pokeballs are there any other recurring pokeballs that we can get out of here there's a cave that's only zubats that's really funny uh there's an ultra ball in the next island we can pick up and a net ball that's pretty handy. Not gonna lie. Thing for Sky Puppy. Ooh, the Rocket Warehouse has a netball and a nest ball in it. Okay, okay. So we do have some decent ball pickups remaining, even though we've used up our purchases. Uh, 
Uh, Lost Cave is some fucking gimmick dungeon, too. And then Seven Island, we can grab... Nothing, it looks like, for Pokeball pickups. That sucks. Could be really useful to actually... Speaking of pickups, the, the ability pickup probably gets Pokeballs, too. That would be interesting to try and... Uh, try and get. Let's see. Cerulean Cave. Cerulean Cave has three Ultra Balls in it. What is the, I wonder what the prerequisite for Cerulean Cave is. Okay, you need to finish everything else. So Cerulean Cave is like the end game state. What we can do though is those those Ultra Balls in Cerulean Cave we can use for more metang attempts by saving an encounter uh, at this resort where we currently are. I think that's the plan. We'll leave this encounter for last. And we'll have three Ultra Balls from Cerulean Cave at the very end to come back and try again. Also potentially a Mewtwo to kill, but I don't think we're gonna do that. And then our level cap is 70-ish. Potentially 75. I think I'd say 72, which is Lance's highest level. So we've got a ways to go in terms of grinding. Bounce, you son of a bitch. Wait, if I fly and he bounces. So I wanna, I need to get the sequencing better here. We missed the toxic. Okay, now he bounces, so now I fly. You sucker. You fell for one of the classic blunders, you son of a bitch. I feel like I'm whiting out. Nice job. Well played, Pokemon. Ah, that's kind of annoying, actually. I don't want to get paralyzed. Eh, what you gonna do? We'll keep Sky Puppy in. Sky Puppy's running out of fly PP anyway, so if he gets paralyzed, she gets paralyzed, it's not the end of the world. Wow, fly didn't even kill the Mari. Did it get the defense bonus off? I didn't, I didn't pay enough attention to catch that. Pointless crit. No static, it looks like. That's nice. Now what you got? Another Mari. Three flies left. Yeah, so we're about, about done with PP on Sky Puppy. Might want to... I picked up a PP up. It might actually be a really good idea to boost the PP on his fly. Which sounds so weird saying saying out loud. <laughs> you know, Game Freak and Nintendo, props for sticking with the acronym PP for the entire series. I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Oh, there's the light screen dropping. Um, yeah. Oh, you suck. You really suck. 
We're rolling two dice on the paralyzed chance here with fly. Which sucks too. I could swap, but I just don't want somebody else to get paralyzed, because then we're we're doing the same problem. Oh, light screen special defense. I guess for some reason these Marips are tanky enough to take the fly from Sky Puppy. Um, if this one fails, I'm gonna try and kill this Marip with Toxic. Oh! Um, um, okay, we're fine. I didn't. I, not gonna lie, it never once occurred to me that I was fighting electric types with a flying type this entire time, despite using fly. Uh, also, very, very good to know that Fly does not dodge Thunder. That's an interesting uh, interaction I was completely unaware of. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here now. Um, bye. Let's go with Ghost. What does that do? Oh, well I got news for you. I don't have any speed anyway. Okay, sure. Yeah, you keep doing that, bud. Sounds good to me. Have a ball of shadow. Boop. Wonder if that counts as a contact move. We'll never know. Actually, we may already know, but I don't know. We fought you. All right, uh, any other trainers here? Yes. Oh shit, Sky Puppy's still in front. Ah, uh, fuck. It's fine. Smeargle. Okay, Smeargle, kind of scary actually, because we don't know what it has and can do. Um, so we'll just shift to Skost. Skost is a tank and can do whatever it needs to do. Is that like focus punch? That's an amazing swap. <laughs> oh, he's normal type though, so we got a strength. It's It's got all fighting moves. What is this nonsense? Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> you got fucking rolled. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was going to have all fighting moves. I just didn't want to fucking send in Dragonite because I was afraid of, like, Ice Beam. That's amazing. <laughs> all right. Is that all the encounters here? Yes. And so the person in this house we need to go rescue from the cave. All right. I'm going to pause, look for items, go heal, and then we'll do this cave. I decided to go do our encounter before I go back to the Pokemon Center so we can see what it's like. Uh, apparently there are more trainers on the route because people that swim are a thing. Um, I wonder if I missed any other swimmers. No, it looks like there's just one swimmer. Ah, uh, this should be fine for a matchup. He is faster and he uses Belly Drum, which I believe means he just dies horribly now, right? Lose half HP, go for plus six attack, and then gets destroyed by a shadow wall. Boop. Dead. And any fucking physical moves he was likely to have are going to be fighting or normal type anyway, so this ghost uh, just destroys it. So the AI not playing, not playing its best game here. Also worth noting, half of the hidden items uh, in that resort weren't there. So there's items that don't spawn until certain triggers in the game. Uh, so I'm assuming it's that sort of situation. 
Um, the rocket warehouse, apparently, that thing on this island that you need the two passwords for, apparently that triggers the spawning of some other items in the game. So maybe these ones I've missed so far are also connected to that. Uh, I think the most noteworthy thing that we couldn't find was an ultra ball. Like the two items missing here are just like stardusts or whatever. So they're not relevant at all. Alright, that is a dead tentacle. Um, that looks like it's just a dead end. There's not supposed to be any items here, but let's check. No, okay. Alright, so this is some stupid maze thing. Um... Let's put Dragonite in front for our capture. Get the Paralysis, switch to Edgelord, same kind of shit we've been doing. Uh, are you a trainer or are you just... Oh, you are a trainer. Okay. Um, I thought he might have been a guy who just says, Oh my god, this dungeon's really whack. Here's why it's whack and how it works. Can you figure it out, dummy? But no. Uh, I think we just switched to for Alligator, honestly. No, we have Surf. We just stay in and Surf. Um plan is to cut for Alligator from the Elite Four team, so I'm not going to level him up. Level 60 on Mira. Woohoo. Clap, clap, clap. Look at those stats. What a beast. What an absolute unit. Get out of here, scary gravelers. Goodbye, Marowak. More like Marowak. No mercy. Then I shoot him in the head. Um, there are items here, but I think they're all at the dead ends. Let me bring up the page for this silly cave. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. And then there's a psychic randomly and boss lady with Persians. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, I'm just gonna start at the top of the item list and decide where I go based off that. So east, south. I don't know where this trainer is. Oh, and then you just come right back, got it. So east, north, south, north. Uh, who are you? Are you the psychic? Yeah, there's a mysterious power. It's called video games. This sort of thing is such a staple of RPGs. It shows up in, like, what, Final Fantasy VIII? I'm sure some other Final Fantasies. Okay, uh, Final Fantasy IX has a basic thing like this with Black Mage Forest. So FF8, FF9, and, and Pokemon, you know. All the RPGs. <clears throat> yeah, might have been a little half-baked on that concept, because I, I can only think of the three dungeons that are like this FF8, FF9 in this game. So maybe it's not as tropey as, as I was initially uh, saying. Um... Yeah, Dragon Claw is still probably our best bet here for Zatu. Certainly for crits. Goodbye, Zatu. Alright, yep, so now trainers here are done except for the final one, so it's just item collection. 
Sea incense. Makes our mystic water purchase uh, even more redundant. All right, next item. Max revive east, north. Oh, okay, so they're all like progressions of the same path, it looks like for the most part. East, north, south. Yeah, okay, I get it. And then you go through a different thing to find a different dead end. East, north, south, south, east, east. Max survive. Okay, rare candy. We go east, we go north, south, south again. Then we go east. And then west, southwest. West, south, west. Gimme, 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 gimme. And silk scarf. Ooh, silk scarf will be really good for us. Um, so we go back, start over, we go, wait, what? We came back that way? East, north, south, south, south. South. We go east. We go west. We go south. Wait, why is there an asterisk? What does that mean? Second visit. Oh, first visit selfie, then we have to come back. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, I'll come back. Wait, we just went south. Oh my god, I lost my place. Hopefully this is right, east of the north. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we fight her, we defeat her, and then I'll, I'll come back and do the silk scarf. Um, I'll pause and do the silk scarf since we're right here. But we're not gonna watch me do the whole fucking path again. It's the same path. Oh, we never got our encounter. We haven't fought a single wild Pokemon, have we? Is there a quirk to the encounters? Huh. I wonder if the like chance of an encounter resets with every room. And that we just made it through the rooms fast enough that we haven't fought anything. I didn't kill anything, right? I would have known if we had a new encounter. I'm not that dumb. I did mean to harm you. I just killed your cats. <laughs> Selfie, come on. Go back to Final Fantasy VIII. With the same puzzle. Hmm. Do you think that's intentional? Thank you, you may go now. Listen, bitch. Uh, we do not have a do duo. Nope. Bye, selfie. Can't help you there, girl. So apparently she picks something out of your Pokedex. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we've never actually encountered a do duo of any sort. So it includes just something you've seen, which means there's a lot of things she can pick that we can't do shit about. Okay, I'm just going to run around in this room for an encounter. Okay, yeah, we just never, someone never found an encounter before. That's a Zubat. I know it looks like a spinner act, but it's a Zubat. Trust me, I'm a scientist. Like the hitting the wall sound effect. I don't know why it amuses me. You are old hat, Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff might be. Is that a haunter, maybe? Okay, Murkrow is a new one for sure, but it's only a 5% encounter. I'm gonna pause while I look for encounters and go get the Silk Scarf, I think, at the same time. 
So I'll be back uh, for the silk scarf and or an encounter. Actually, I won't even be back for the silk scarf. I'll just tell you if I got it or not. Yeah, pause in here. Talk about disappointments. Uh, our encounter is an Illumise, which I found immediately after picking up the silk scarf in the same room as the silk scarf. Uh, without even trying to find it, just on my way back to the exit. Uh, I suppose we'll catch it because it shouldn't be too difficult to catch. Look, realistically, I should just kill this thing, right? Like, like realistically, there's no reason to catch this. But I want to. <laughs> because it's a Pokemon, and that's what you do. You catch them. All of them, if you can. Moonlight's nice. But still, it's like an early game single stage Pokemon. So we'll go for another quick attack. Uh, critical probably kills it, which I don't care about. All right. Ultra Ball, I guess. We have currently, what, seven? Yeah, seven Ultra Balls and an S Ball. Can you imagine what if this doesn't catch it? Wouldn't that be ridiculous? I'm pretty sure Illumise is like a, a second, third gym level encounter in Ruby Sapphire Emerald, so. Yeah. Alright, um, so that's our encounter for here. Uh, she wants a do duo, so we can't do anything about that. Picked up all the items. All we have left is the Metang encounter, which we can't do right now. How's this egg coming along? Almost ready to hatch. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so I think we're on to the next island. I did Pillar, we did the Water Labyrinth. Yep. Cool, six island is go. So, six island. Oh, there's so many encounters on this page. Rune Valley in the south, and outcast between these equations. All right, let's just open the six island page rather than the walk through. So the town is the initial section you walk into, or boat into, I guess. Um, so we got the Pokemon where he went to. There is a berry, and that is it. This goes to Water Path. So somewhere there's a berry. Um, if I was a berry, would I be over here maybe? This seems like a place where a berry would be, yeah. Lepa Berry. Okay. So Water Path has grass. And are you uh, taking a trainer? Um, let's talk to this dude. The ultimate horn. Oh my god. Pattern bush. Wait, what? Okay, so there's something with hair across here. What the fuck is pattern bush? Oh, it's an area. Oh, there's a bug area. Caterpie, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna, Lediba, Spinarak, Heracross. Heracross... Oh, I mean, they're all swapped out, so... We'll get what we get. Uh, we show her a record-breaking Heracross, we get a Nest Ball. Except we can't actually catch Heracross.
Just keep Dragon Claw on his Pokemon to death. Um, so the grass here is Spiro, Fear, Oddish, Gloom, Meowth, Persian, Psyduck, and Sentret. Sentret should be a new encounter. So we're looking for a Sentret. There are uh, a few trainers here and a few berries and a dragon scale to pick up. You're scary, my friend. Um, Skos time, I think. Don't want to get fucking exploded. Don't explode my Dragonite, please. Die to the Shadow Ball, please. Yes, Spark, but that's not gonna hurt too much. Stab, but low, lowish base power. And we're a tank, so. I'm not gonna lie, doing a Nuzlocke without a ghost on your team seems like, like just ball clenching. <laughs> Cause how can you swap into a fucking Electrode or a Graveler with anything other than a ghost? Like I've been, I started doing a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke in my free time just because I've actually never beaten Platinum proper and I heard it's hard as balls for Nuzlocking. Uh, and I can vouch that it is, I'm like, Two, three, three badges in, two badges in, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Um, I think three. And I've already lost as many Pokemon in that as I have in this. I lost a, a Bivorel to a Wild Geodude because I swapped into it and it's just self-destructed right away. It's like gonna kill the Water Gun. So I've learned, I've learned, take the Geodude seriously in the wild, run from him every time. Don't fight Geodudes. That way lies death. The other lo lesson I learned from that was was to keep a Rotom on me at all times because I had Rotom tucked away in the bank at that time because I was training up a new team member. I think I was training up a Magikarp with uh, XP share. Yeah, the other big thing about that is I found that uh, Platinum, it, it, that changing up the team constantly seemed really good. So I've got like 10 team members that I swap between currently. Cause there's like a really hard fight against a Skun Tank. So I trained up a Geodude for that to beat it with Magnitude. So I have like this 22 Geodude for no reason other than that one battle. Uh, Outrage, I'm gonna skip. Outrage is locks you into it, which is pretty bad in a Nuzlocke. Alright, show me an encounter. Show me a Sentret. Wait, was Tyrogue a Sentret? Ah, uh, shit, was it? Um, shit, Five Island. I think Tyro was a Sentret. I'm not sure there's an encounter here that we can get. Yeah, Sentret, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Hoppip, Meowth. Yeah, okay, so Sentret and Tyro is, is Tyro. Let me double check just to be sure here, but. Um, Spiro, Firo, Oddish, Gloom, Meowth, Persian. Persian maybe is new? I'm not entirely sure. The other option is fishing for a quillfish, I think, again, which is Metagross, or Metang. Um, I think I'm going to pause here and try to find the Persian. Uh, actually, hold on. I know what to do. Let, let's, let's try and jog my memory. If we open the Bulbapedia page for Persian... We can check where Persians are found normally in Fire Red Leaf Green. Bond Bridge, Canyon Entrance, Cape Brink 5, Kindle Road, Ruin Valley, Savalt, Treasure Beach, and Waterpath. Treasure Beach. Tangela, Psyduck, Persian, Meowth, Spiro, Fear. I think we've had the Persian encounter. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. 
Yeah, I don't think there's a new encounter in the grass. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not going to bother. Well, I don't want Mira in the front because she's getting over-leveled compared to everybody else, but it's fine here. Once that egg hatches soon, we'll be able to get uh, Licky back in the team. Bye! Ah, and we're at 30 minutes again, so this one's just about done. keep going for a little bit here okay ruined valley this is a new place there's not a new encounter there uh, let's check this water path oh it looks like there is a way to go north on water path oh right for the bug area yeah okay so we gotta go back to water path and go north uh, let's check ruined valley where we are currently this is a dead end uh, at the center is the dotted hole containing the sapphire. Is the dotted hole another sub-area? Okay, dotted hole is another cave, but it doesn't have encounters. Some items. Encounters include Spiro, Fear, Meowth, Persian, Psyduck, Natu, Yanma, Whooper, Wobbuffet. Okay, we got a bunch of potential encounters here. So yeah, we'll get our encounter for this area and then we'll call it an episode. I'll um, probably collect the items and the sapphire off screen and then I'll come back to show you guys the stats of the new Pokemon in the PC at the very end. I think that'll be the plan. Oh, there's probably trainers here, isn't there? Oh, there's a fair amount of trainers here, actually. Meowths are encounter? Okay. Gen 1 Pokemon's good. Technically. <sighs> Can we quick attack this with Umbreon, you think? Or will we just kill it? We'd probably just kill it, right? Thirty-seven versus fifteen. I'm sure we probably just kill that with a quick attack. Certainly with a crit. Let's just go for the ultra ball throw, I guess. And if we don't catch it on the first ultra ball, I'll go for a quick attack. You hear me, Meowth? If you don't stay in that ball, you might die. Okay, good. Good. I, I, I'm gonna bet a thousand billion pokey dollars that there is another amazing encounter in this grass that we missed out on for this Meowth. All right, Meowth, uh, what do we name this cat? Got it. Uh, how much space does this actually, it doesn't quite fit. Keep running around here for a little bit. We can move Mira out of the front now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna knock these trainers out of the way first before we end this episode. 
this whole thing a big dumb spiral? Uh, big dumb spiral, indeed it is. Ooh, a pseudo wodo. Cool. Probably wouldn't use it, but it's cooler than a meow. And it's dead. Thought there might have been an item down there. Uh, oh, a strength puzzle. How novel. This is a dead end. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to go down and up? Okay, I see where I'm supposed to go. Still, we wanted to fight the trainer anyway, so it's good. He's got a pseudo wood on. How ironic. Wild pseudo wood is at random on the route, and then this guy actually has one in his team. We take that just fine. Please, sir, may I have another? Oh, sorry, you're dead. I guess, I guess not. Yes, I know how strength works. You don't have to tell me every fucking time that I can push boulders. Full restore, very welcome for the Elite Four battle. Uh, is there an item around here? No. Nope. Down, 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 and then down, damn it, down this way. There is one more, I think, new encounter in this area we haven't seen. Nah, you can't touch this. Is the power of a ghost. Uh, oh, there's an item over there. I'll get that off screen though. Hello, cat. Goodbye, cat. <clears throat> I mean, realistically, Meowth goes in the junk box, right? We don't even really need to see it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I think we'll take a look at Meowth in the future when we look at some other encounters. I'm not going to dedicate the time to running all the way back from Meowth. Uh, Rhyhorn. I suppose we can just safely swap into Mira. Go for the Surf. That way we don't get Earthquaked. I think that's a good play. Well, we do get rock blasted. We get blasted right in our rocks. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of that, that's doing some damage. Rhyhorn is a corpse. Next. King is gone. I guess we'll just stay in. Maybe just go for a fly. We get the leftovers. Heal them. Seems pretty decent. Here's an idea. Should Kangaskhan have bounce because it's a kangaroo? Makes sense, doesn't it? It's alive. <laughs> what a pathetic hit from Rage. Does Rage only stack up damage at, uh, when you hit after using it. That might be how that works. So it does shit damage because the fly came in first. Mm. 
Be do be do be do be do. Sunkern. Oh, we had one of those from before. So actually, that might have been. Oh, that's the Whooper, isn't it? Whooper's the Sunkern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we do. I think we do still have. Yeah, we have the Natu, the Yanma, and the Wabufet. So we do have Natu is probably Meowth because it's twenty five percent. And then Sudowoodo is either the Wabafet or the Yanma. And then we have one left to look at. If we ever actually find it. Rockman, fight me. Um, probably should just have Dragonite in the front here, actually. Oh, it's a Ruins. Ruin Man. Still, um... I guess we can see how effective Shadow Ball is against the Graveler. Uh, roll out isn't going to hurt because we're killing him here, but it is something that could hurt. This ghost has taken a fair bit of uh, damage, so it's not ideal. Yeah, Onyx, I'm just going to swap out, actually. I'm going to actually send in Gator Boy here to spread damage out a little bit. Since we've got so many secondary team members floating around, we might as well just... And it goes for Sandstorm, too. Also, it'd be nice if this Togepi egg hatched today, so we can find out what it is. The egg counts as the route we got it on, which is why we didn't do an encounter on that route. Not where it hatches, because that's too hard to control and too easy to manipulate because you could just get eggs and hatch them in whatever towns you didn't get an encounter in normally. Yeah, surf kills. We're probably faster than a graveler, I would think. And if we're not and we die to a self-destruct, uh, well, that's life. Or in this case, death. All right, Gator Boy's got it. I'm gonna lead Gator Boy here, actually, I think. Uh, we gotta be getting down on trainers. This is Ruin Maniac Foster. Looks like there's one more Ruin Maniac man flying around. Bye, Golem. Golem's one of those classic Gen 1 Pokemon where the third form, or the final form, takes a real sharp left turn from the style of the first few forms. Kind of like Dragonite. There you go from being this this kind of grounded, wormy dragon thing to being a straight-up children's TV show host. Items? There's a lot of rocks. You feel like there'd be some items. Weird. I guess that's the aesthetic. Well, this should be the last trainer in the area. Uh, I'm gonna pull Gator Boy. I guess we just go into Skost and assume that they can't hit us and that we kill them pretty quickly. <clears throat> Yeah, because he goes for a physical move, so we get the free swap, and then we go for Shadow Ball, and if he has the thing where he can hit Ghost, he goes for that. So even if Shadow Ball doesn't one-shot, as long as we're faster, we still kill. Safely. And apparently this one just has fighting moves anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright. That's a dead Machoke. Let me guess. This is it going to be like a Machoke Machamp team? Because we just saw a golem. It would make sense if we saw... Nope, double macho. That's strange. I figure we'd see the trade evolutions. 
since we saw the goal and we'd see the match out. Getting those special defense down procs in the Shadow Ball for no reason, which is pretty cute. I really wonder why Shadow Ball is special defense down in this generation. It really doesn't make any sense because it's a physical move, because it's ghost type. Very strange. I mean, I guess if you had a uh, Psychic or something on your ghost, it could lean into that play, but it seems like a very pointless secondary proc on a move for this generation of games. All right, uh, then we've made it. Is there anything behind it? I mean, that was the last trainer, so. All right, we'll end this episode here. Until next time.